So in this question we are asked to prove that tan of 2a is equal to 2 tan of a over 1 minus tan squared of a. So in other words the double angle formula for tan uh, um, is given by this expression. Okay now it's not very difficult um, as a matter of fact all we need to do is go from tan 2a to this side and we simply use what we know. We know one for one that tan is sine of a cos. So tan of an angle is equal to sine of that angle, that angle is just 2a, over cos of that angle. And cos of that angle is also 2a. Okay, cos of 2a. Now we also know what the expressions are for these. Okay, we have that uh, sine of 2a is 2 sine um, 2 sine a cos a and cos of 2a is cos squared doesn't matter which one you use actually cos squared a minus sine squared a okay so now we just need to have this expression we need to have the expression 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. Now the only way we are going to get this to be 1, well it's not the only way, but one way that we can do is to divide with cos squared a everywhere. Every single term here we're going to divide with a cos squared a. So in the numerator we have 2 sine a cos a and we're going to divide that with cos squared a. So this gives you a little bit of a clue what to divide with okay because we want that to be 1 so we are dividing the numerator with that and we are dividing the denominator with that the denominator has two terms so both terms has to be divided have to be divided I mean so cos squared a is divided by cos squared a minus sine squared a is divided by cos squared a and I think you should be quite impressed with how simple this is Okay, so in my next step, I notice, okay, that cos A can cancel with one of the cos A factors in the denominator of the numerator, and I'm left with 2 sine A over cos A. In other words, I'm left with 2 tan A. Okay, in the numerator, that's what I get. In the denominator, I get 1, because cos squared A divided by cos squared A is 1 minus, and here I get sine squared A over cos squared A. Now that's the same as saying sine A over cos A squared. Okay, and sine A over cos A is 10 minus 10 squared A. And there we go.